Cabby dashboards are becoming an integral part of the way we deliver visualizations with UIM. And Cabby dashboards themselves are not new to the 8.5 release. We've released Cabby previously um, with all the benefits, and it's been extremely well received. But there are a couple things I wanted to share with you that, that are new and talk about some of the things that are coming as well. So first of all, for the sake of you that might be developing new dashboards, one of the big things that's a huge advantage of Cabby is that it's really simple to make new dashboards. So um, I, in some cases, in about nine minutes, actually, I was able to create a complete new view that was consistent with what a customer wanted. It's really easy to pull that information together and make a dashboard that's very much like um, what the customer wants. We, of course, ship a number of dashboards out of the box, and that's what I'll be talking about further. We focused first on providing dashboards for the cloud probes that we've provided, and we've got a couple other dashboards that we've provided for specific probes as well. In addition, what's new to the 8.5 release is a set of default dashboards that allow you to view the information from any probe within Cabby dashboards. So first point I just wanted to make was about it being um, nice and simple to make new dashboards. The second part is about how modular Cabby dashboards are. So we've got this picture on the left here that you can see that's uh, a picture of a Cabby dashboard, and each of those six tiles that you see is what we refer to as a dashlet. And that dashlet, those are trivial to reuse. So once you've created something once, it's easy to reuse it in, a, in, in every other place within um, a Cabby dashboard as well. So it's extremely modular, and that's a big advantage that makes it you know, very quick to create things, to reuse things, and to customize things. And then finally, one other thing that I just wanted to point out is that we're starting to broaden our use of Cabby across of all of the CA portfolio. So you'll probably at this point have seen that other products such as Spectrum are also using Cabby dashboards. We're working on unifying that so that we have one Cabby dashboard um, installation so that all of the different products share that same installation. And that also makes it possible for you to bring visualizations together that are pulling from not just UIM or not just Spectrum, but to have single dashboards that perhaps have these dashlets that I was describing earlier, bringing them all together on a single dashboard dashboard from different sources. So as I mentioned, we do have some new material that we released with the 8.5 release. In this case, what we've done is created generic default dashboards. And as I mentioned, these allow you to view information from any probe. We have released a total of six of those. We do still have the ones that are specific to certain probes. And when we've got something that's highly specialized, we will continue to produce specialized dashboards. But for ones that are producing you know, standard metrics, things that are pretty common, these default dashboards provide a way to view any information from any probe. So the first of these is a summary dashboard. And this is just giving you an overview in general of UIM overall. So it's showing mostly about alarm information, but it's showing about um, the distribution of alarms, what probes are producing those alarms, where the devices, what the devices are relative to those alarms. And in all cases, all of these can be drilled down and drilled across. So you can move from one of these dashboards into another. So for instance, in this case, if we were on the summary dashboard and we were to click down through one of the groups, in this panel that's the lower middle panel, we would then be taken to a group dashboard. And again, this is what the group dashboard looks like. So the group dashboard now is showing us information about all the information in the group. And from that, from that per particular perspective of a group, we now see all of the things that are members of that group, all of the alarms of that group, all the probes that are generating things for that group. But at this point, there's one other pattern that's important to note. Across the top, we've got information that, of course, we can drill down from that's showing us about what's happening in this group. The bottom half of the panel, however, is a little bit more, even more interactive. So when we select something, perhaps in the very leftmost panel, in that case, it's showing a I believe that's showing metrics, and we move to the right. First, we're presented with, the, with metrics. We drill down from that, and we get a specific set of additional, perhaps, devices that all those metrics are being collected for. Once we choose a device, then we're asked which component on that device do we want to show. And then that graph at the far right is constantly being updated. So when we've chosen just a device, we'll see the information about the device. Once we've drilled down to a component, it's going to show us more detailed information. So note that even the, the dashboard within itself is dynamic. You can link out to other dashboards, or the dashboard itself can be providing more detailed information, particularly along that bottom half of the screen. So from the group dashboard, we move to the device dashboard. And in this case, this one's a little bit different than the previous ones. What you'll see is some summary information that might be familiar to you if you're looking at one of the tabs within USM. We then have a um, set of key performance indicators. That's the center top panel that you're seeing. And these are ones that we've selected that we believe are the most important ones for you to be able to see. This is certainly changeable. It's something that you can modify. But out of the box, this is what we're provided. What's important to note is that the set of key performance indicators are determined now by something called a role. And the role determines, you know, effectively, if it's a server, this is the type of thing you're going to see. If it's a different type of role, you'll see different key performance indicators. So the role determining that, the device, every device now is tied to a role. 
So in this case, across the top, we see some summary information. We see the key performance indicators. And then at the far right, we've got a distribution of alarms for that specific device. Now across the bottom, we've got another sorting here where we're able to see specifically the different types of, of alarms that are being generated. And again, we can drill from right to left in order to see more and more detailed information about those specific alarms. And then of course, as mentioned before, all of these are linkable to the other dashboards. So from the um, device dashboard, we can move on to the probe dashboard. And this, you know, what you're seeing is fundamentally we're rearranging a lot of the same information to view it from different perspectives, different perspectives. So whatever is most relevant to you, you can use that dashboard in order to view it. So this is a perspective that allows us to view it from the standpoint of a probe. And so what it's showing in the case of, the, of a probe is you know, what's being monitored, what metrics are being gathered. And again, across the top, we study a lot of, of core information about the alarms. Across the bottom, we're able to, to, take, to make specific choices and drill in further in order to see those specific details. I just want to take this opportunity one more time to emphasize that maybe the graph is by far the most important thing. And if it's nothing but doing simple resizing, you have the flexibility of doing that. And that's a, that's a matter of minutes in order to make that type of change. If you want to rearrange the dashboard in order to show something different, we can add tiles. We can remove tiles. We can do those very quickly in order to make the dashboard suit a specific need very effectively. From the probe dashboard, we're going to toggle the inventory dashboard. And this one obviously isn't have, doesn't have that same tiled approach. At this point, what we're showing is all of the devices that we have in the system. And in this case, they're sorted by the alarm status. So again, we can drill in. If you click on one of those names at the far left, what you're going to go to is, of course, the device dashboard to show that more specific information. But it gives you a method of being able to sort and search through the list of all of the inventory that you've got in your UIM system. And then finally, we have an alarm dashboard. And this is a, you know, arguably another method for being able to just um, have an alarm view. So we can look at these, and we see, of course, the distribution across the top, all the devices that are associated with a certain class of alarm, and then all the alarms shown on the right. Very flexible, gives us a lot of ways to be able to recombine this information. These are the six that we're providing out of the box to provide people with views into the data across all UIM probes, providing a visualization that we think is, is modern, it's quick, it's efficient, and it's really easy for you to change to make it custom 